Dick thinks you should be proud. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? Heavens! You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. All right, uh, it's Chris. Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, so uh, I skipped over uh, taming beasts, so it just gets like to the main mission. Look at this! It's amazing. Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live—a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them. Let them see their new home. Oh, <laughs> oh. Very nice. Deke thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so, too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Deke can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Okay, so that will be it. Um, for the beast taming. We're going to feed our beasts and... Um, yeah, let's see what else we can do with it. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now, Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. I don't even know... Can I put it here? Huh. You get features of the primary offense and defense staff by default. Okay, magical materials can be used in the loom and add upgrades for secondary stats. Apply traits to your gear. Multiple small upgrades would yield a meaningful boost to combat power. Okay. New piece of rescues will unlock in new quests, new trait recipes, and collect bandit camps. Okay. So, if there's beasts in bandit camps, you might be able to upgrade easier. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful! Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. I figured. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Thank you for your help, Deke. All right, let's move on to our next... What was that? Oh. Anyway, let's move on to our next mission. Uh, we'll see you in a bit.
All right, here we are in a brand new mission, and we're here with Sebastian. Let's check it out. Enjoying the view. Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. I still don't know why this goblins way. can't carry wands. Maybe they're just, maybe they get like over hungry with uh, with power. Maybe and just turn Feldcroft evil. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. All right. Well, let's go talk. I hope you are enjoying these videos. Uh, it takes a little while to get these videos edited and processed, and I, I, and I love doing them. So, I, you know. Where did you? Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. No. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure. When will you accept that? Never! I can never accept it! Now look what you've done! I'm sorry! I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. Uh... It seemed they didn't start until they started arguing. Are you all right, Anne? I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. And I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts. And often suddenly, it's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. Show I am. Sebastian and I met on my first day at Hogwarts in the Slytherin common room. Oh, the common room. I adored teasing first years about spotting mermaids through the window. I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being at Feldcroft really if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cosy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me, and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I'm afraid it's really up to Sebastian, and his mind seems to be made up. I can only hope he realizes the futility of his search for a cure soon. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. All right. I yeah, wish you, you well. I, I, uh, I, uh, I did all I can do, I guess. Uh, dear Anne, Hogwarts isn't the same without you. Well, a Sharp is still a fool, but... You know what I mean. Hope you're feeling better, Sebastian. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes, Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. I was about to check on Anne. Did I see you come from the house? How is she? She's all right. She said she was going to rest. Nothing can be done for her. I understand you've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's to no avail. We have. My nephew thinks he knows better than the healers. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, 
He will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the Loyalists' way. With all due respect, sir, hope could keep Anne's spirits up. You may mean well, but I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children, especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance at what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. I know he's angry, but he's only trying to do what he thinks is best for Anne. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. I see. This way. I'm trying to think if I actually made it past this on another account, but I don't know. It's been a while since I played. How much longer are we expected to dig through this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. Only good wizard is a dead wizard in my book. Let's get this over with. Yeah, I hit him with that too. Ow. I missed. Just you wait till Rather unwise coming back this way. Okay, that hurt. You've got a few more up here, right? Oh, snap. Okay, that really hurt. Here you go. Let me get back here with homeboys. Uh, I can't even see anything. Let me take this. Give me no indication for that. Take this. Oh, okay. Thanks, man. You won't get away with that. But I shall avenge your death. Well done. 
Okay, you gave me no time to react on that. That guy back there still up. I'll cut you from shoes to Okay, man. Oh, come on, block. You can do that spell casting. Weak human. Impressed. You can stop me. Easily done. Spells glance off of me. Uh, okay, get out of my way, dude. I confess, that was a bit more than I bargained for. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Good God, those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? They seem to have set up Rebellion. for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. What is this down here? What is this? Investigate. I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the Ministry isn't doing more. I feel like Always the ministry is behind it. Ranrock's loyalists. Like I said, I, I haven't completed the game yet. I got to a point and then I just, I, I just stopped. 
but I want to finish it not just for not just for the YouTube channel but just for myself and plus I like this character too and it needs a lot of work whose home was this been abandoned long since I've lived here rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once centuries ago but that's all I ever heard it might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself Revelio. Yeah, what is that? Sebastian, over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Why would it be... Revelio. Why would it be intentional? That they were trying to hurt someone. This well looks familiar. Sebastian, I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. What do you mean? Oh! Well, give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you... I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganark. She was one of the Keepers. The Keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves Keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I'd think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the Keepers. Look at this. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Alright, it's time to do the kablooey thing. Nice. Huh, a stairwell. Okay. And we couldn't see this from the other side? Anything else here? Yeah, yeah, I don't remember this. Yeah, this is this is all brand new. Oh uh hang on. Lumos. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. Tells me they're after something bigger. Good for you. Ooh. We just blew Lumos. all of that away. Alright. Oh. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. Okay, um, okay, yeah, 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 uh, this is, this is all new. I know it sounds strange, but Honestly, I nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it and that you couldn't wield it. That's true. And I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows, I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can. But perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. I'm tempted to hold my breath. 
All right, let's move out. Why would the door lead us here? What? Sebastian, look. Uh, what? We're back in Hogwarts, uh, if you guys haven't noticed. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's the uh, symbol of the ancient Anything magic. In the note? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago. And Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. Uh, it's worth that a try, mean right? It's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts? You did not? Is it connected to our common room? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I have no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did.